it's time for an up, up, update! Just here. Hey guys, um, I want to do some more, uh, personal videos, I guess. I've done a lot of the unboxings and recipes and things like that, but it's just so you can get to know me a little better. Uh, I do on my blog. I already do the Friday updates where I try and update people about how my week's going and how everything's going for me and I want to start doing videos on here as well. I don't know if I'll do it every Friday but maybe at least once a month. Just do a little update what my struggles are for the week, uh, if I've made any progress or maybe any useful tips I might have to share. And so if I want to start doing that this Friday I thought I'd need to do a just general progress video to let you know where I started and where I'm at now um, because when I started this I was about I believe a little over 60 pounds heavier than I am I started out at 222 pounds now that's not a small weight for someone who's barely five five and a half if I'm lucky uh, that's, uh, that was actually a lot to carry around and I was in denial about it. I didn't really think I was that big and now looking back at pictures I, I can't believe that I let myself get that way. Um, now I'm already well over a year into my ketogenic journey so y'all are kind of joining me in the second half of this little race. Um, now it's more about health and how good I feel because I'm not I'm, I'm still technically overweight but I'm not crazy overweight. Because I'm, now I'm down to, depending on the weather, the day, how much water I've had, I'm between 157 and 163. Um, it's it's kind of where I'm plateauing at. And it's just, I think that's the lowest weight I was in college was 160. So it's kind of like where I settle naturally. Uh, and I'm just working to a healthier weight below that because I'm still pretty squidgy in some areas. Um, but it's okay. Uh, and, and just to give a little perspective, I did some measurements when I first started and I did measurements recently and to me the tape measure is a little bit more eye-opening than the scale. The scale is a dirty liar. Don't always believe it. It's a pain in the butt. Sometimes I just ignore it unless I have to because it's full of lies. It's just so mean. But let's I have, if I look to the side, it's because I, I can't remember the top of my head. But when I started, my neck itself was 15 inches. And now I'm closer to 12, um, which I feel so much better about. When I was at my heaviest, sometimes it felt like I was literally suffocating because my skin was tight. And now I can breathe, I can wear necklaces comfortably, and it's just better. My bust started out at... 46 inches and I'm now currently closer to 39 definitely feel better about that uh, it makes it a lot easier to run which is something I started doing recently my waist which has always been a naturally smaller part for me started out at 40 inches I'm currently at 29 so that's 11 inches just off my waist alone um, I measure at the tummy as well I that's like I call it the tummy but it's around the belly button because that's usually where I hold the most weight and I'm a little more bloated normally. Um, PCOS gives me that, I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's my PCOS but I have like a spare tire effect. It started at 48 inches and it's actually down to 32 so I've made a lot of progress there. I used to be really bloated. Uh, my hips, which is also a trouble area, I always have trouble losing for my hips because it was the last place I lose. They started at 49 inches and I'm now closer to 38 inches, which I'm excited about. I just recently fit into some medium running pants. They are a little tight of a squeeze, but that just blows my mind. I was a 14 in junior high and high school, and now I'm fitting into size eights. Like, that's, that's still don't believe it sometimes. Like, really? But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question it. I'm gonna let, let it go. The thigh, which is also a problem area, I have some pretty sizable legs. I mean, they could, they got some power to them, but they also make it harder to fit into smaller pants. 
but my thighs started out at a 28 inches and they're now well on my right side is 23 so there's some drops there my calves used to be pretty big I made it hard to fit into boots I started at a 17 and a half inches and last time I measured I was at 14 and a half I can now fit into the different boots I have which made it really good for fall and my arm muscle oh look at that muscle I don't lift that's just because I eat enough protein I must just hold my muscles and I don't know but I started out at 15 and a half inches and I'm now measuring in closer to 12 so I feel a little bit better in tank tops um, but it probably helped if I did some weightlifting because right now there's just my natural arms. They're not, no gun shows over here. But that's just where I'm at right now. Um, so that's me. Uh, I still have ways to go and I'm still, still working my way through this process. If you have any questions about anything, post them in the comment section below. I'll answer some stuff if I can and I'll just start doing the Friday updates this week uh, now that you got my measurements and my weights out of the way I'll probably do more updates on this is the foods I'm liking this week I'm really struggling with something particular like lately I've actually had a lot of trouble with my old eating habits I'm um, used to be a pretty bad binge eater and it's starting to get a little bad again so I'm working my way through that I've started exercising regularly something I didn't think I would be the one to do but I'm a runner I'm doing the couch to 5k I may not be faster than a turtle but I'm jogging like I'm going and I'm loving it I'm finding myself smiling when I'm running who am I am I'm, I'm, I'm someone in my body and it's not me anymore I don't know but I'm, I'm doing that for my dog so she can get some exercise as well and she really seems to be loving it and uh, just stuff like that so until I do my Friday update this week just remember <laughs> to hydrate satiate and celebrate throughout your day and I'll talk to you later guys <coughs> Lila stop squeaking your toy come here do you want to come here you know, it's my toy. Alright, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.